Okay, um, in my mind, this was gonna go a bit differently. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's video is a really exciting one because I'm going to be putting to the test the new Doja Cat X Pretty Little Thing collaboration. Now if you guys have been on my channel for a little while you might have seen my previous video on her last drop and honestly I was not really feeling it. I personally love Doja Cat. She is actually one of my favorite artists right now. Like literally she is pretty much all I listen to. But I'm not gonna lie, her last edit was not a bit of me. It wasn't really my style, but I thought I would try it anyway. This time I feel like some of the bits are a little bit more up my street. So I thought why not test her new drop? If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Also make sure you guys follow me on my social media at Roxoros, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, all that kind of jazz. So make sure you guys check out the links. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so here is my massive pretty little thing bag with all the goods inside. I'm just gonna have a little look-see on the website to see how they styled each piece and kind of like what they paired with what. Okay, so the first outfit I see on the website is this right here. It consists of two items, a bodycon dress and a trench coat. So first up, the bodycon dress is this one here. Yeah, this one was 13 pounds. Originally it was 15, but everything is on sale right now. This is called the multi-statue print mesh bodycon dress. And let's just say Doja looked amazing in this. Now the thing that I found a bit tricky last time with the mesh kind of ranges was the fact that they have no underlayer underneath. Like it's literally just the mesh dress. I mean, usually when you see other brands do like mesh dresses or anything like that, they usually have like an underlayer, like a nude base to kind of work with. Whereas this, it's literally just the sheer fabric. And I feel like with this, you're kind of just left to your own demise to basically just try and find something that looks good underneath it and covers you up as well. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna get on with this, but it looked really, really nice on her. The print is basically like this Greek kind of statue all over it. It's quite interesting, it's quite colorful, and yeah, it was very affordable. So I just felt like I needed to try it at least. Personally, this is definitely a bit too risque to wear just on its own with like underwear. So I will put some like nude shorts and a bandeau top underneath it. Then we have the trench coat. This one was actually a little bit pricey. So this was originally 50 pounds, now it's reduced to 44 pounds. So let's have a look. I keep trying to find a nice nice like stone colored trench coat that isn't too heavy and it's like appropriate for spring and summer. So maybe, just maybe, this might be a good one. So this is what it looks like from the top. It looks quite, um, well, messy. It's very loose, um, so I feel like I won't really be able to do it justice just by holding it up. The fabric feels very, very nice. I haven't really got anything bad to say about it. It's very crinkled, but nothing a bit of ironing or steaming can't fix. So I guess let's try this outfit on and see if we look anything like Doja Cat herself. All right, guys, so this is the first outfit and what it looks like on, I've got to say, I am in love with this dress. This dress is so freaking cute. I love the pattern. I just think it looks so summery and so spring appropriate. And I actually don't even mind the fact that it's super sheer. As you guys can see, I've just got like this nude sort of underlayer on underneath. I've just got these little shorts on and a nude bandeau. And honestly, I don't think it's that exposing when you've got those on. Because the whole dress is kind of skin colored anyway, you kind of can't really see the fact that it is super sheer once it's on, but Honestly, I did not think I'd like it this much. As for the jacket, this is what it looks like on. It is super long. It pretty much goes down to the floor, which is kind of crazy. It does actually have real pockets as well, but they are super low. Like, <laughs> I kind of have to stretch my arm just to reach the pocket. So yeah, this is exactly how Doja Cat paired it on the website in her little photo shoot. And honestly, I'm just really in love with the vibe of this whole outfit. Obviously the trench coat, like I said, definitely needs to be ironed before it's worn out, but I just thought I would show you guys real quick how it looks on. So yeah, this outfit, I actually have to say, is a winner for me. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I really, really like both of the items. They're very good quality. All right, now for the next outfit, I have this right here, which doesn't look like an awfully big outfit at all. I feel like I'm gonna be very exposed in this. So here is the photo of Doja wearing this outfit and honestly, she looks stunning. The photo shoot was set in like desert vibes. I absolutely love it. Will I have a personal event to attend to and wear this outfit in the UK? Probably not, but I still bought it. So the first item is the top. 
this is what it looks like. And again, Doja must love her mesh because everything is made from mesh in pretty much both of her drops now. Okay, this looks a little bit confusing to me. I honestly can't remember how this goes. I'm gonna have to look at the photo, but this is essentially the top. It probably goes crisscross from memory. The actual fabric is, again, mesh, full on mesh, no underlayer, no nothing underneath, so you're gonna have to like wear a nude bra or some nipple covers or something under this. I actually quite like the pattern of it though. It's like very earthy kind of tones, very similar to my painting in the background. And then the bottom is a skirt that's made of basically the same fabric. This one has like interesting cutouts on the side, which are basically just like massive circle cutouts. Can you see that? I don't think I would ever, ever wear something like this out, like just around town because it is very exposing. So the skirt cost 13 pounds and the top was nine pounds, which I feel like, you know, it's pretty good. Again, this is definitely gonna be that outfit that needs some underlayers underneath. So let's go try it on and see how it looks. Okay, this next outfit, as I've just confirmed, is definitely very exposing. So I've still got my underlayers on underneath just to not flash any of you guys and not get demonetized. As you guys can see, the top kind of has like this keyhole sort of element feature in there. So if you weren't wearing anything underneath, you would definitely see a lot of cleavage with this top. The skirt looks really, really cool, but it has got these massive cutouts down the side, which are like circular sort of shapes. So I definitely think that this outfit is more for like the beach, the pool parties, when you have got like a bikini underneath, because it just looks a bit silly if you've got like underlays underneath. But in general, it does fit really nicely. And if I was to wear a bikini underneath it, I think I would be way more comfortable. Now the next item isn't actually modeled by Doja from what I can see on the website. It's just just like a random model modeling it. It's called the Lime Corset Cutout Body Dress. It was 22 pounds and this is what it looks like. Ooh, this is nice. Look at it. So this is the top and then it's got little cutouts down the side, which I feel like will really cinch you in. I'm not sure if this style is gonna look good on me, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see if we can pull it off. I really, really like the top half though, cause it's kind of got like that structured, boned, like corset kind of vibe to it. But I also really like the straps. They're very thick and you can tell they're like sturdy and just, the whole dress is made well. For 22 pounds, if this looks good, this is gonna be a really cute like summer dress. I think this would be so cool for festivals if we're ever allowed to go to festivals. But yeah, I really, really like the look of it. So let's go pop it on and see how it fits. Okay, I'm sorry, but this dress is everything. Doja Cat, you know what you're doing, girl. Honestly, this is it. This is... This is what I want in a dress. This is so cute. I absolutely love the color. I love the ribbing effect. I love the square neckline. Everything about it is perfect. These cutouts are so cute. I mean, they feel a little bit loose. Like they could have had a bit more structure and more like cinching in like this. It's a little bit loose, which I think, I mean, I can handle like, you know, it's not perfect, but it's, it's almost there. Oh, it's just such a pretty dress. I feel like this is actually my favorite piece of any collaboration with Pretty Little Thing that I've ever tried. And for me to say that, the person that literally lives in beige, white, and nudes, for me to like this dress, that says something. I'm obsessed, 10 out of 10. In fact, I'm gonna give this like an 11 out of 10, okay? Low key, I'm that obsessed. Okay, the next outfit I have is actually a dress. This is called the Stone Flare Sleeve Wrap Dress and this was 26 pounds. This I think is one of the most normal clothing items in this whole collab because it's something that I can actually see myself wearing. So this is what it looks like. It's basically just like a very loose kind of wrap dress. Um, it's got like this big belt that's very, very long. I think this probably comes as no surprise to you guys, but I love the color. It's just so me. I love colors like this. Honestly, there's not really that much to this dress. The sleeve is super like wide, which is why I said it kind of gives me like a kimono vibe. But I guess let's try this on and see how it fits on me. All right, guys. So this is the kimono dress. As you guys can tell, the sleeves are so freaking long. I can barely see my fingertips out of this. If I was to go out in this, I feel like I would be that Ariana Grande meme where I dip my sleeve 
sleeve into every dish at a restaurant. Honestly, I actually really like the look of it. It feels very like slouching casual, but at the same time, it is quite like a dressy dress. The one thing that annoys me a little bit about this dress is the fact that the sleeve back here is super tight because this is the side of the dress that kind of like folds over to close up the dress. It's almost like this piece of fabric here is too short. So when I like try and close it to cinch in the dress, it's literally pulling the sleeve with it. At the end of the day, it's not really the end of the world, but I would still wear this dress. The only thing that is kind of annoying me about it is the sleeves. Like they are way too long. I literally have no hands. I think I'm gonna give this dress like a six out of 10. It's okay, but it's not my favorite dress I've ever tried. Now the next outfit is definitely very daring for me. It's not really the type of outfit that I would put together or the color scheme that I would wear, but I really wanted to try it anyway. So this is the outfit in question. Doja is completely rocking it. Will I rock it? I don't know, but I'm here to try. So this is the top half. It's basically just a bikini. So this is the bikini top. I actually really like the pattern on it. It's very like funky and like retro almost. I actually remember having clothes or like bikinis in this kind of pattern when I was younger. So it's bringing back some memories. So that's the top. This was at £10.50 for just the bikini top, which I actually feel like is a little bit much considering like how little fabric there is to this. But then we have the bottoms as well. So let's give these a look. I'm not too sure if the bikini top had a matching bikini bottom but I didn't get it either way I just got these that kind of have that same pattern as you guys can see these are very much sheer you can see my hand straight through so I'm gonna have to wear some nude like bottoms underneath this again these are very flared so they look very very funky and especially with this top it's just gonna be a full-on outfit okay so this is the super funky retro kind of inspired outfit I absolutely love this the bikini top fits so nicely it doesn't have any padding unfortunately but I feel pretty supported in this I probably wouldn't wear this like swimming because it probably would just fall off and rise up and all that kind of stuff but the trousers are so cool I'm not usually one to wear like flared stuff but I actually think these are really flattering and really funky and I love how lightweight they are so yeah this outfit would honestly be perfect for the beach or a pool party I really really like the look of it I'm actually really obsessed with this outfit even though I didn't think I would be so that's really surprising I think I'm gonna give this like a nine the next item we have is this this is a midi ribbed kind of dress you guys know I love this kind of color, so I just decided to pick it up. Ooh, this is so cute. I've forgotten how it looked on the website. So basically, it's kind of like a halter neck. So these are the straps at the top. And then on the side, it's got like this cutout and it's got this, um bamboo kind of like ring so it looks very very like earthy i love this vibe so yeah that's the cutout on the side and then this is how long the dress goes i really really love the quality of it like the fabric feels really nice and soft this feels very stretchy and i just know it's going to be really comfortable so let's try it on and see how it fits all right guys so this is the rib dress and what it looks like on i have to say i actually really really love the fit of it it feels so stretchy but so comfortable with this one because the cutout around like this area is so in you can definitely see like my underlayer and stuff like that with my bra so if you were to wear this I would probably opt for like sticky cups also because this cutout here kind of scoops quite low down it's really hard to like conceal your underwear in this area because that's like naturally where my underwear sits so I kind of had to shimmy down my underwear just below that line which feels a little bit funny to wear but it's what we do for fashion. The whole dress in general just looks so nice. It's really like flattering. It cinches me in so nicely everywhere. Genuinely, I really like this dress. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. The only thing that could have made it better is if these parts here weren't as cut out because I feel like I could then wear a bra with it. And now the very last outfit I have is one that I'm most excited for just because of how like different it is. The first part is this. It's a top. It's called the Lime Floral Print Mesh Ruch cut out top. I think Doja actually wore a bikini top under this in the photo of this top but sadly I couldn't get it so this is all I have and I guess I can just pair it with something nude underneath like a nude bra. But yeah this is what it looks like. It's got a long sleeve. It's got like this cut out under the boob area just like on your upper stomach. Again it's got that super funky like color and print to it. It kind of reminds me of Totally Spies. This is the kind of thing that all the characters from Totally Spies would wear. So yeah that's 
the top. I'm just gonna pair it with maybe some jeans or something. And then I also have a blazer from the edit. It might be overkill to be honest on the green, but it looked really cute on her. So I decided to get it. Now this is in a size eight, but it looks really, really big for a size eight. I don't know what it is. It's like very wide. I usually like my blazers a bit smaller and a bit more fitted. So I don't know how this is gonna look, but I'm hoping this is just gonna look quite oversized, maybe like boyfriend blazer kind of vibes. So let's try this outfit on and see how it fits. Okay, um, in my mind, this was gonna go a bit differently. I thought this was gonna be a cute outfit. I thought I was gonna really kind of experiment with colors and everything. This is kind of just stunting my growth here, okay? This top is not it. This top, I'm trying to pull it over my boobs as much as possible, but it just keeps rising up and it's so annoying. I know it's supposed to literally barely go over your boobs and kind of just like be really cropped and then this is kind of supposed to go down here below it, but that was not this top's plan. Obviously, this is not the kind of look that Doja Cat was going for here. I feel like it's just a little bit small for me. Maybe I should have sized up, but everything else fits fine. Like the sleeves are really nicely fitted. But honestly, I don't really know if I went wrong or if the top went wrong, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna forget about the top, okay? The blazer, however, is definitely cute. It's very oversized. I probably would have downsized if I knew that because it is just kind of like swallowing me whole. But this is the outfit I was kind of thinking would be cute, like some blue denim jeans that are like really ripped, this top, which clearly does not want to cooperate. I'm gonna have to give this outfit a low rating because it's a bit of a fail, to be honest. I feel bad because I really wanted this top to work. As you guys can see, the top kind of has a mind of its own, so I'm gonna have to give this outfit probably like a three. All right guys, so that is all for my Doja Cat Expert little thing review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to see what kind of things I managed to pick up and how they fit. When I tested the first Doja Cat Expert little thing collab, I wasn't really all that impressed. I felt like the styles were just so far away from my style and what I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I know that she's a superstar, so obviously she's gonna wear like extra clothes, but when it comes to selling those clothes to your fan base, I feel like that's where the disconnect was with that first one. But now that I've got a pretty decent selection of some like wearable bits as well as super extra and bougie looking bits, I actually have to say I'm pretty impressed with this one. I definitely would have liked it more if the mesh clothing did have like an underlayer underneath everything. It just makes it so much easier for the person buying it to like not have to think, oh, what am I gonna put underneath this to make it wearable? Let me know your thoughts as well in the comments. Would you have liked any of these pieces on yourself? Would you have liked them to have an underlayer underneath? I'd be really interested to know. I love hearing you guys' thoughts about these sort of collaborations as well. But anyways, that is all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this. I hope you guys are all well and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.